today's makeup lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to use this e.l.f. palette. This is the Sunset Collection, so it's got pinks and golds, and it's a really easy palette to use. As always, before we start any makeup look, we're going to apply a primer. This is going to work as a base on our lids, give our eyeshadow something to hold on to, and also help our shadows last longer. And bear in mind, you don't have to use Urban Decay, you can always use the e.l.f. primer, which works great too. Now for brushes, you're going to need at least two different brushes, a smaller one, I'm using a pencil brush, and then a blending one or referred to as a fluffy brush, but these two brushes is all you're really going to need for this look. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply the base shade all over the lid, so this is the lightest shade from the palette. What this is going to do is to set the primer in place, but also give us a nice base to work on. So if your primer happens to be a clear primer, this will also give you a little bit more of a blank canvas to work on, or it will just create a nice powdery effect so that we have something to blend over the top of. I'm then going to take the matte shade from the palette and we're going to blend this over and back in the crease of the eye. So apply a very small amount on the brush to begin with and just swirl this back and forth in the crease of the eye. Try to make sure not to blend it up too high. If you are blending up too high, just make sure there's not too much on the brush. That's the really important part. The depth of the color needs to be where the eyelid creases into the eye shape. And then I'm going to take the darker shade using that same blending brush and apply this on the outer edge and also deep in that crease. So keep the brush higher while you're applying and this will drop it down lower so it's going to apply deeper in the crease of the eye. And this will just add a little bit more depth to this look. I'm then going to take a mixture of the two shades, which is like a pink and a gold, and I mix them up together and apply this over the lid. Now this took a lot of time. I really had to pack these on because they went on quite sheer. So bear that in mind. This palette was a little tricky to use. I will say that on camera, it just did not do it justice in real life. However, it did actually work pretty well, but that is very common with this sort of cheaper. 